she had good success in? Final thoughts this year? Yeah, I'm just going to say to you, like when I won it, it was 50 to 1. You don't have to a a actually be the under odds. Under 1, you're underdoing yourself, Mark. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, have to, you don't have to actually be an odds-on favourite for this type of race, especially the Gulf of Guineas. It's the horse that gets the most luck and the best run that generally wins this race. Well, to that end, Cuz, articulate for us what it's going to look ideally like for James McDonald from the third outside draw, given we've got that early rise and a pretty early first turn. In his mind right now, it's not I'm going back and it's not I'm going forward. It's jump, squeeze, give him a couple pushes and see where I'm at then. He'll have two looks to his left, left shoulder and then he'll work out whether he's going forward or back. Here's Matt Hill for his call of the 144th Caulfield Guineas. It will be the final three to load for the 144th running of the Sports Bet Caulfield Guineas. Ruta Royale goes in. Now coming up rideless is Mayfair. Blake Shin about to hop aboard in the structure. And Vianara with Jamie Mott, who is at 200 to 1, is going to take the outside alley. Vianara will complete it, an attendant in with Mayfair. Now, a couple of attendants just have to uh, latch arms behind Vianara. Monaru is standing patiently next to public attention. Vianara. 200 to one shot, just spotting uh, his moment in the sun for a little while. And uh, no luck at this point. Evaporate standing well with also Angel Capital. Now Vianara goes in, stand by for a start. Caulfield Guineas, ready. Set, and they're racing. Broad siding towards the outside, away fairly. Ruta Royale jumped quickly with also Private Life, who's going to lead them early for Roche and Tropicus behind those horses. Wanneroo is in about fourth or fifth as they settle down into stride. They were followed by around the outside Mayfair, who got to about sixth and driving through between horses. Public attention's now in the top four. So the leader at the 1100 metres, Private Life by three quarters of a length, through to Royale. Feroce is third, followed by public attention. A length and a half, Tropicus on the fence. And then came Wanarua. Next in the field is Mayfair, a length and a half to Broadsiding, who's two thirds down the field from Evaporate Angel Capital and the Bolter Vianara. To the side of the course now, 800 metres to go. And the leader, Private Life, by a half length, through to Royale a length and a quarter for Roche third and then came public attention a length away Wanarua Mayfair deeper from Tropicus a length and a half evaporate broadsiding third last from Angel Capital and last of all Vianara 500 metres to go Private Life had a bit of a breather midway from in second Ruta Royale public attention three deep for Roche behind those horses trying to edge off the fence from Wanarua broadsiding still has three behind it the leader Private Life led by a length Ruta Royale for Roche, public attention. Then came Evaporate, broadsiding, still a long way off them. Private Life, 200 metres to go, two leagues for Roche. Then came Evaporate and broadsiding. Private Life at the 100 from Feroce. Private Life, Feroce coming at Private Life. Private Life, Private Life has just won from Feroce, Evaporate, broadsiding. Then public attention, next to finish Vianara. And then came Tropicus Angel Capital. A gap, Ruta Royale, Wanarua, and a long last was Mayfair. A third Caulfield Guineas for master trainer Chris Waller. Press statement 2015, the Autumn Sun 2018. They were dominant favourites in their editions. That was not the case with his third winner this afternoon, Private Life. The son of Ritten Tycoon has 